Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chris and welcome back to Resident Evil 7 downloadable content banned footage. Um, a little frustrated because I just recorded this entire clip of what I'm about to play uh, for like an hour. I did the whole episode and then realized that my open broadcast studio was being a piece of shit and decided not to record any of the audio from my gameplay. So, what we have now is me knowing exactly what goes down, and uh, it's going to be a different experience. So, what I've decided to do is instead of just a uh, first time let's play whatever, ooh, I don't know what's happening, which I really wish it would be, uh, because that's what my original intention was, I'm going to do a how-to, a how-to on how to beat the bedroom sequence because I've got to play it again and I know exactly what to do now so let's let's make this a lesson this will be a tutorial on how to beat the bedroom DLC for Resident Evil 7 so you play as Clancy the poor cameraman from the sewer gators that seems to be uh, getting screwed over so so much in this game and this is obviously like a prequel to um, to the main campaign. So we're trapped here in the master bedroom from the mansion, and we're gonna get some delicious food. Our daughter really likes you. She wants you to be her big brother. Oh, now don't get too excited. Don't jump up and down just yet. You want to be part of this family? You gotta eat like family. That smells good. I gotta tell you don't though, it. bugs with like recording software and stuff you that you don't know are happening stuff. until after you've played for hours and you go back and check your footage. That stuff just like drives but me up the wall because it's it's a waste of an hour, you know. Wow, this looks delicious. Wow, uh, this this looks delicious. You know, I don't actually really, know what happens if you select one of the other options. Great. Oh, good. I'll be back in a little bit to check on you. Wait, is there anything else to eat? You don't need nothing else. Now eat your goddamn supper. Okay, so it took me about an hour to figure out how to beat this thing. So it should take considerably less time now because I know exactly what to do. So this is a puzzle. The entire thing is a puzzle sequence. And... You have to complete different things without getting uh, caught, so to speak. Certain things you do will trigger her to come back and check on you. And you have to put things back in order so that she doesn't suspect anything. So, first things first, we got to get out of the bed. You got to have the lantern to pretty much do anything, you know, because it's dark and whatnot. So, I'll just kind of explain things that I did wrong without actually doing them. So, first things first, here's a note that says, same time as all other clocks. If you recall the main campaign, uh, the way to move this bed is by changing this clock to 1015, and that reveals a trap door. So, this one is different. The time is not the same. So, the first thing I did is I went to try and just naturally set it to 1015. And then this happens. You break the clock hand, okay? So, um, while we're over here, you want to get in a habit of not leaving anything open. If you opened a drawer, if you removed a painting, if you did anything, you're going to have to put it back in place before she comes back because she's going to find it. So, a lot of this puzzle involves just, like, inspecting every possible thing you can. Like, for instance, here, there's a lighter that we're going to need. This is one thing that you are naturally going to want to explore, but it is completely pointless. It is a broken drawer. When you open it, it will get stuck, and that's bad because when she comes back in, there's no way to put it back in, and so she's going to notice that you were up and doing something. Okay, so you don't touch that drawer. It's bad. Uh, here, this is worth noting. There's three places that paintings can go, and this obviously doesn't fit in a, in a rectangular spot. More on that in a minute. 
You can't leave the room, obviously. Um, back over here, here's another painting. Okay. There's also a lot of spiders and some shit. You're not going to be able to get to that right now, so we're going to ignore that. We have to use the lighter for something in the future. So this is the first thing that we have to do that's pretty much like a non-negotiable uh, wake up Marguerite. Not wake up, but you'll, you'll draw her attention. So we get to use the broken clock hand as a lock pick to pick the lock on this thing. Okay. And what's going to happen is here's our third painting. And there's no way to get this without hitting that chime and setting off the clock, which obviously is going to set off, you know, uh, it's going to draw attention to it. So what we want to do first is naturally there's a giant rectangle, there's a small rectangle, and then there's an oval. Okay. This huge painting fits naturally here. The oval painting fits naturally there. Finally, we need this painting to go here. And what this does is this opens this little book and what gives us the noise? sewing needle. So we've triggered Marguerite. She's going to come up here. You have a timer whenever this happens. So what we got to do, I got to shut this thing. You don't have to put the painting back in there because she's not going to open it. So she won't ever know. And we have to get the room back to the way it was, so that means putting the oval back over there and putting the giant rectangular painting back here, okay? Those are the only two things that we've, that we've messed that with so far. So now we can put our lantern back up. We can crawl into bed. And I hate this section right here because sometimes, like, I've had it happen where I hit... F to do wait for Marguerite, which is what cues him to put his latch back on. But one time I did that, and he just wouldn't put his fucking latch back on his hand. And if you don't do that, she will absolutely see it, and then you're screwed. So she comes back in, and this is where she checks for if you left anything out of place. Hmm. Well... Everything seems in order. Come on now, eat up. I made that just for you. Ah, uh, thanks. Don't worry. I'll be back real soon. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Sure you will. Okay. All right, so we're clear for a little bit. The next big thing that we got to do. Um, we have to set the clock. So we lost our broken hand thing because we used it as a lock pick. And even if we didn't, you can't put it back on there. I tried. So the sewing needle becomes the new minute hand oh and I wasn't really showing you because uh, because I was just getting a pa painting but basically you look at the grandfather clock and then you see that it is set to five o'clock and we know that all the clocks have to have the same time so set this guy to five and then this reveals yes there is a trap door and we need a key to get out of it okay there's also this note here uh, first death granted darkness to the man from the west. As the man traveled on, he gave his flesh to the four beasts of the earth. When he arrived in the east, he was charred black with ardent joy. So that's a clue. We have to take note of that. And more importantly, we have to move this bed back because she's coming. And I, when she leaves, I will explain what that means. Also, when you move the bed, it puts that note on this side of the, of the bed. So you don't have to move that every time you want to read it. So that's all I did. All I did that time was I... Uh, I just moved the bed to find the note and to see the door and that's an important thing you have to do because that triggers what's going to happen next and we need this next part to occur in order to progress in the level. So uh, you probably, you might could have done the paintings and that all in one swoop but I feel like you'd be pushing it. So I like to do 
uh, smaller increments of of things, just so I make sure I have plenty of time to get back in bed and not fuck up. So she's gonna bring us new supper that's even tastier and even better. And it also comes with some items that we're gonna need to get further along in this puzzle, okay? Okay. Mm, don't that just smell like heaven? I made it specially for you. Huh? Has someone been in here? No. Oh, something ain't right. Oh, just my imagination. Yes, it is. I figured you still hadn't eaten yet, so I brought some. You're damn food. right. Not eating this swell. Okay, so, we got some new stuff, okay? Got some new stuff. We got a stove. Who the fuck are these people? We've got a fork. And if you'll notice, there's a snake on the fork. That's weird. So, we gotta get, up, get back out of bed. So, what I thought originally when I read this note... I gotta have the lantern. When I first read this note... I thought that this poem was referencing this lock here. I thought the the man or death or whatever was like the that guy and then beasts were, you know, snake or some bullshit. It's not. Suffice to say, it's not. It actually is talking about the paintings here, okay? So, if you read the poem, you will find that this actually is the order that it needs to happen. You need to put the paintings on in a God damn it, in a certain order, okay? Uh, we need to go back and get the big one. The big one with the four beasts eating the flesh goes next. Then we have this guy. So that tells us, okay, fork, leaf, spoon. So what do we have? We have a spoon. If we inspect it, the apple is the sign on that. If we inspect the fork, snake. So snake, leaf, apple is what that's saying. Okay. At this point, we are done with these paintings. So there's no need to damn it, keep them the way they were because just in case she came back in for some reason you know we would want things to be back the way they were so we'll leave them like that now we know the combo to get in here and it is snake leaf apple voila here we go so this brings us into this other room and you will notice here that is the key to get under the bed okay Something looks off about this painting. It's because it is, and you need to note that for later. Basically, you'll see that this is uh, this is one of these projector puzzles like you've had to do so many times during the main campaign. Can't get into here yet because we need something to cut this, the tape. Um, this, we need to pry this nail out. So naturally, the only thing that we've got close to the back side of a hammer is a fork. And what do we have here? Solid fuel. Um, if you go over to the spiders, I'm gonna show you real quick. If you go over to the spiders, if you try and touch it, it, it you can't do anything because they're spiders and no one will fucking touch Shit. spiders I'm not touching that. I tried using the lighter by itself and it you get too close you gotta have something hotter so what we have to do now we have to combine the stove with the solid fuel and I just want to make sure that I don't have anything out of place for when she comes back paintings good I'll do that I'll do that whatever whatever so what we have to do we have to put our stove here you right click to use an item with the stove and you use the lighter. So we light the stove on fire. It's going to get rid of the spiders. And we're going to need 
this corkscrew out of the bottle. Now, she's coming. So we take the stove back. And because this painting is so large... I gotta get back. That's the wrong... No, that's the wrong... No, God damn it. Because the painting's so large, it covers up the, the wine bottles and stuff. So she won't know. Uh, she doesn't go in that room, so you don't have to worry about anything there. Uh, you do need to put the lantern back up. And you do need to get back in bed. I'm not enjoying this, and you gotta put your... Uh, gotta put your cuff back on. So everything should be... As it seems to her, because all we moved is the painting right now. Chester. Everything else was done inside that room. <clears throat> hmm. And I'll well, show you what the corkscrew's for in just a second. In order. Ugh, why are you so stubborn? Because I hate your cooking. You better eat or I'm going to shove it down your throat. She's gone. So. Alright, so if you look at this, you'll notice that there's a cork right here. Okay? Securing this thing on the wall. So that's why we needed the corkscrew. So that removes that. That allows us to take the lantern hook. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but in here... There was another one on this back wall, so we have that. Pop that in. And we have lantern hook B. So we have two lantern hooks. And right now we have everything we need to solve the puzzle, okay? So what you'd want to do is we're going to combine these lantern hooks. And then we end up with this weird dual lantern hook thing, okay? Now, just by playing with it, you can kind of see that it resembles the Medusa head. So, uh, the final thing... Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have everything we need. The final thing, we still need to get into that box, okay? I have to wait for this door to close. Because where I need to go is right next to the door. Close, damn it. Close, damn it. Thank you. So, it took me forever to find this. There's a knife taped to the wall, okay? behind this desk so you have to take the knife cut the tape use our lantern as our light source light source oh my god I'm an idiot and okay yay we have a projection thing so first things first let's take the fork this just takes a little bit of time to play with, but you'll notice that the f the fork has a forked end like the snake's tongue. So I, I hate doing these things because it just feels so freaking awful. Like it, they need to have like an A to D rotation as well as your mouse, just so you can rotate things easier. Oh, so fucking close. God damn it, just give it to me. It's so fucking stupid having to rotate this damn thing with just your fucking mouse. It takes so much longer than it should. God damn it. You can tell what I'm trying to do, though. You gotta make the fucking snake head with the goddamn fork. It's such a pain in the ass. God, if I could just, like, hit... Oh, I can rotate it! Fuck! Why didn't I know that? That would have made the, everything in this game so much easier. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. All right. Well, yeah. So you make the snake. What am I stuck on? What am I fucking stuck on? 
Oh, I left the cabinet doors open. Close that shit. Okay. Next up. The Medusa head. Oh my god, I'm a dingaloid. Got it. So that's the puzzle, guys. Opens the bird cage, and then we can get the key here. Now, this is going to trigger an event. Okay. Okay. So, obviously, Use your head. this is bad. Uh, and it <laughs> I sat here for like 10 minutes just walking around looking at shit. I was like, oh, what can I do? I don't know. And turns out, there's only one option. You gotta equip the knife. Don't inspect it, you dick. And we just got a bomb rusher. Ah! So it, it cues this little event here. Fucking shanker in the throat. And just gotta be quick. Down there. Get the key. Gotta use the snake key. I know it did. I don't like your cooking, so I'm gonna stab ya. And there you go. That's how to beat the puzzle. And it's from there, I believe it's presumed that you make it into the basement. And then that probably cues up the nightmare scenario, even though the nightmare scenario is not very realistic. But uh, I think it's safe to say you probably die eventually because that basement is just a, a son of a bitch. So, not how I originally intended to do it. My first recording was about an hour long and it was me figuring out what the hell to do. But it's a really good puzzle. It takes a good minute to figure all that stuff out. And uh, it's one of my favorite puzzles of the game, honestly. There, were, there weren't many puzzles that were that complicated. There was the clown one, and that one was good too. But this was a lot of fun. But I am glad that it didn't make it into the final game because I think it, like, it would have just taken so much time just to figure out this one puzzle. Um, but it's perfect for a DLC. And I, I kind of hope, I don't know if they're going to, to do any more like that, but I kind of hope they would do some more like standalone puzzles like that because it's really cool. But uh, that's how you beat it, guys. That was the super fast, uh, straight to the point how to um, on how to do this puzzle. So sorry, it's not what I originally wanted, but maybe at least this should be helpful for anyone that does want to know how to beat it. Um, you know, cut to the chase. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Stick around for more. I'll try and um, hopefully not have my recording software take a dump on me. So the playthrough of the, the next stuff will be a little bit more organic. Um, I'm going to do Daughters next because Daughters is a prequel, I believe. Um, 21, I think, is a like some version of Blackjack game. So I feel like that's not going to be very long. So I may try and tie that in with something else. But Daughters, I'll probably do a, an episode just dedicated to that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stick around for more Resident Evil DLC. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.